Hurricane Debbie is causing big problems for thousands of people along Florida's Gulf Coast. The storm is also threatening Georgia and the Carolinas. Christian Benavides reports from Tybee Island, Georgia. Debbie pounded northern Florida early Monday morning with 80 mile per hour winds and torrential rain. The storm made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane in a sparsely populated area in the state's Big Bend region. The winds are powerful, but rain and flooding are the biggest threats from Debbie. This is about a five foot surge. Numerous communities along the Gulf Coast are underwater this morning. Thousands of people have no electricity. There's going to be a lot of water that's going to be dumped uh, throughout the state, and we're going to see effects of that uh, not just today, but in the ensuing days. Forecasters say Debbie is headed for coastal areas of Georgia and the Carolinas. The slow moving storm could linger in some places for days. Southeast Georgia could see historic levels of flooding here on Tybee Island. There is just one way in and one way out and there's concern flooding could shut that down. This is a 1000 year flood event, so this is highly unprecedented. We don't know what to expect. People in Savannah are also bracing for the storm. What is the worst case scenario here for you as a mayor? And how do you prevent that? Well, that's that's a problem. Um, I'm a mayor. <laughs> I'm not God. Um, and a worst case scenario um, would literally be our city underwater. The governors of Georgia and South Carolina declared states of emergency ahead of the storm. Christian Benavides, CBS News, Tybee Island, Georgia. Stress